I'm sure you are looking for a better tips to have better battery life on your iPhone and that's why you are here to watch this video. Hello all, I'm Nikhil from MyGeeks blog and today in this video, I'll share proven tips. Yes, you heard that right. Proven tips to save iPhone battery life. You probably know them all, but I must say, watch this video till the end to know all the tips and who knows, you will find a tip that is perfect fit for your iPhone. Not only this, but I'll explain the pros and cons and the process of that individual feature or tip. But hey, before I share them all with you, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now, if you have done that, let's talk about the first tip and that is related to display of your iPhone. We all know the display of the device consume a battery a lot compared to any other component of the iPhone. And that's why applying a few tips for a display which surely help you to save a battery life. The first thing first is to activate the auto brightness mode. To do that, navigate to settings, accessibility, select display and text, and right from here, toggle on the switch next to auto brightness. After these settings, I want you to remind three settings that Apple offers with its iPhone. First is true tone display, second night shift mode, and the third, the dark mode on the iPhone. So if your iPhone has a true tone display, you can always take advantage of it as it adjusts the display colors and brightness according to your nearby environment. Like true tone, night shift mode will be another lifesaver tip for your iPhone battery. You can also schedule a night shift mode or turn it on or off manually right from this settings or from the control center. Next is one of the most loved feature of the iPhone and that is dark mode. You can activate it from the settings or from control center. But the question is, how these three tricks will help you to save battery life? The answer is very simple. iPhone's display is the major hardware component that consumes a battery a lot, right? And it consumes more battery while it has to display more brighter stuff and shiny stuff. True tone, night shift mode and the dark mode help to reduce such bright spot on the display and as a result, it will consume a less power. So after display, network connections and location services consumes a battery a lot. Don't worry, I'm holding your back and will surely share a few tips for that too. <laughs> the first and the foremost thing is to turn off the mobile data when there is no need. Always being connected to the mobile data consumes more power and especially 4G, LTE and 5G connections. Hey, this will help you in two ways. One to save battery life and another to save data plans. But again, it's your choice. There is one more setting you should take a look at and that is to turn off the personal hotspot. Not only you, but sometimes I also forgot to turn off the personal hotspot after I use. And nearby devices find my iPhone to connect. See, that is the catch. People nearby us or devices will try to connect to iPhone and such discoverable network and connection request eat up a power. So it is always wise advice to disable it. Hey, I cannot suggest turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your iPhone. If I do, then what is the point of keeping this smartphone? Many expert <laughs> suggest turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but I guess they are missing one important point over here iPhone is my daily driver and just like me, you always use your iPhone for regular mail, social media conversation, FaceTime calls, messages and a few more, right? And my Apple Watch is always connected to my iPhone via Bluetooth. So turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will not help. So now, how one can play with these settings to save battery life? Not too much, but just like personal hotspot, you can turn off AirDrop on your iPhone which will also turn off iPhone discoverable feature and as a result, it will consume less power while keeping Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection on. That was useful, right? Now let's talk about the next setting which is related to location services. We use many apps on our iPhone and many of them require location services. Apps like Maps, Food Delivery, Social Media and a lot more. But do you know, few apps like Calendar, Shopping, Reading, and a few more do not require access to location service. Not only these apps, 
but many of them do not require access to location services all the time. And you know what? Such apps are the culprit which eat up a lot of power without any requirement. So disabling location services for such apps from settings, privacy and select location services. Scroll down and select the app for which you want to allow location while using the app always or never. Do this for the rest of the apps. And yes, make sure whenever you download a new app, change the location services settings right after the installation. Apps are the culprit, right? Of course, yes, they not only access our location services, but also runs in a background and without our knowledge, it consumes both data and battery. To turn it off, navigate to settings, general, select the background app refresh and turn it off. That was informative. Now let me speed up this video and share tips quickly to save battery life. And the next tip is about notifications. I know we love to be notified, but let me ask you about all the notification we receive? I guess not. And that's why turning off unwanted notification will help. Right from notification settings, select the app for which you don't want to receive a notification. Changing these settings will not pop up the notification and won't turn on the iPhone display unnecessary. The next tip is related to Siri. Like we always love to command Siri and that's why it is listening to us all the time. Under Siri and search, toggle up the switch next to listen for. Hey, I guess I forgot to share one more tip related to apps and that is automated updates. Yep, automatic app updates is a culprit too and turning off them will save a good battery health. Under App Store setting, toggle up the switch next to automatic updates. The next tip is for wallpaper, like for live wallpaper. Live wallpaper is a kind of video or you can say GIF which acts on a touch of the screen. Keeping still wallpaper can be a great idea to save battery life on your iPhone. And let me add one more thing, using a dark colored wallpaper will be a great choice. But do you know, self analysis of battery usage on your iPhone can be a great tip to all the tips I have shared with you. Take a look at battery consumption and you can find the apps that consumes a significant battery life on your iPhone. You can always force close these apps or uninstall them for a betterment. And yes, we have reached the end of this video and I am sure I have shared a great tips that will surely help you. No matter if you are using a latest or a brand new iPhone or an older version, these tips works on all iPhone model. Hey, don't keep these tips with you only. Share with your friends and family by simply sharing this video with them. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for such amazing content. Allow me to say goodbye. I am Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay connected.